Alright guys, they're finally here. These are the um, Takate Aztecs 32s for a 14 inch wheel. And they're advertised as being 42 pounds. And they are just shy of 40. Eh, like, I'm, it's kind of leaning up against me. Um, they're right around 42 pounds. 41.8. Um, the lightest 32 sized mud tire for a 14 inch wheel by a pretty large margin. 42 pounds is barely heavier than the 31. Um, outlaw one skinny. Um, the 30 BKT sucked, so this is the next tire I wanted to test. So they're right at about a 31 unmounted. Um, so once they're mounted with air in them, I do suspect that'll get a little higher. Um, they're stiff though, I mean, that's no air in them, and I'm not getting hardly any flex. Knobbies are pretty stiff for a knobby that skinny. Um, they might break in some. I'm not crazy about this, this art here. Whatever. Um, they do have a little bit of sidewall wrap. You know, sidewall sticks out a little bit. Um, I was between these and those, those swamp things, but it's got an excellent deal on these, and they're about six or seven pounds lighter a tire. Uh, one and three quarters. A little focus there, and then, you know, obviously a little closer to two. Uh, the shoulder. So, good amount of tread. Um, super cheap. I got these for less than $100 a tire for a 32. Before I forget, let's do the um, rubber hardness with the durometer. So, center of the Navi, 74. God, it's pretty hard. And the carcass, 74. Pretty, pretty hard rubber compound. Not really a big fan of that. But these things are so light and so cheap. Had to give them a try. Because if they are halfway decent, um, could be the next big thing. So that's with one bead bolted down. Obviously this has to come up on top of this lip. So you can see that uh, these tires are a little skinny. They're a little tricky to get mounted because they're stiff and they're skinny. But you will need a tire iron. It's not one of those tires you can mount with no tools. Alright, so mounted up and aired up. 7 PSI both tires. And you can see that the 31 Outlaw is just a tad taller than the 32. Um, these tires are tall for 31 and they're on very skinny 6 inch wheels um, so that makes them a little taller but these tires definitely run short right and these run a little tall so this is definitely a short 32 I would put it in a 31 class which is perfect because I wanted to run it on my Rubicon um, which I don't have the raked arms and everything so hopefully they'll clear pretty easily they still look pretty square at 7 psi um, I'm going to obviously run them at zero All right they're all mounted up um, you can see on the tire it says um, designed in the USA, whatever that means. Um, it has the metric size in there, which is funny. Not for highway service, and it does recommend running them at 7 PSI. A lot of off-road tires um, are rated for 5. 36 PSI to mount the beads, 7 PSI operating pressure. Alright, so here we go. That's a 31 wide. Um, that's an OG, also known as a Maxxis. Way taller! Oh, dude! 0 PSI, and has the weight of the bike on it. Um, let me put it next to a Outlaw 1 Blim um, at 5 PSI. You can see that it's still like about an inch taller, but this is a Blim. Um, so I like the height, but it's a little short saying this is a 32. Kind of misleading. I'd say it's like a 31. Um, also, see how narrow the tread is here? Look how fat the Outlaw is. So the Outlaw tread's about three times wider. That right there is about the width of the whole knobby. Um, so these aren't gonna be great for staying up on top of stuff for a smooth ride. They're gonna be very aggressive. They're gonna bite um, and kind of dig holes. Hopefully they won't dig holes as bad as my BKT 171 ATs did. But um, I don't like this. They're stiff. I don't like that they're kind of short. I don't like how narrow this tread is. That's gonna cause problems. It's gonna make them a little overly aggressive. But the reason I keep trying to buy tires is this is obviously the best tire for all around. I want a tire that's good in real thick mud. These don't clean out super well. They did okay yesterday, or not yesterday, but this weekend, um, in that clay at the compound, but there was some water. So when you let the real thick stuff, you know, something that's going to clean out at a lower speed. Also, these would be a pretty cool high horsepower tire. This thing would sling some mud, the way these things are cupped. Um, so it might work out great on my Renegade. Very, very cheap tire. Obviously, I got them on eBay for everyone's going to ask. And yeah. Also, totally unrelated note, this is mostly for the kids and the teenagers that view my channel and subscribe to it and stuff. Can you guys please stop bugging me on forms like Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace? If I'm on there and posting something, it's because I'm trying to sell something. I'm not trying to answer questions about your 2002 recon that's smoking. 
I don't mind helping you guys out, but I have a whole Facebook page called Mud Puppy Question Answer where you can go get answers to your questions. Also, there's this thing called Google. You guys should try it before asking people questions, but I know you're too lazy to do that. This generation wants instant gratification, everything now. I get it, whatever. But please, please, please do not respond to a post, have something for sale, and pretend like you want to buy it for 10 seconds, and then start asking me questions about your four-wheeler. That's obnoxious because I try to keep everything organized, right? Like I'm trying to sell this bike potentially or another bike. I don't want to have a bunch of messages in between other messages about, you know, dumb questions or not even dumb questions, just random questions. It, I don't know if your parents didn't teach you this or it's just because the internet it makes it too convenient for you to ask people questions, but you don't waste people's time. Adults have uh, jobs and other things going on and they're very busy. So you teenagers need to stop, you know, bombarding me with questions through texting and Facebook Messenger and Google Hangouts and Instagram. I mean, I get questions on like 10 different media platforms. It's crazy. It's obnoxious. Also, read the entire ad before you call someone or text them because it's obnoxious for me to have to explain what the ad says to every single kid that wants to message me about a four-wheeler. The price says firm and you don't have the money, don't bother that person, okay? You're just going to piss them off. So if I blocked you or just completely ignored you, don't be offended. Just stop being obnoxious and I won't have to do that. Um, yeah, little message for you kids who are obviously lack parenting in this internet generation who just think you can just go bug anyone about anything whenever you want because everyone's job is to answer your questions.